This is the second video what I announced before and uh, this time everything turns about various types of reports. If you go to report settings in FedView you can find all the possible reports which can be generated within the FedView. Uh, most of you will use only the three main reports i will show you which one is it uh, the first one the normal one the classical report with all relevant information to the pregnancy or uh, gynecological examination second one is the one with the address field of the patient with the patient data and the same one is for the doctor so for the referral doctor, if you have a referral doctors who are sending you patients, so uh, you can write or generate a report for them too with the address field here. You can send it there. You can um, you can share it within the Fed view with him and so on and so on. Okay. Um, if we go to another reports. It's a German thing. Maternity log is a German thing, but it's very interesting and very helpful for all of you guys too. Um, maternity log. What is maternity log? Maternity log is a small, let's say, brow brochure or uh, an, yeah, like a small notebook. In Germany, it looks like this. In Austria, it's look like it looks like this so you see a small notebook with all the relevant information to every examination in the pregnancy there are many obligatory fields inside which has to be filled in uh, manually but uh, of course uh, we are working very hard to uh, improve the workflow to save your time and everything so we implemented a digital version of it. How does it look like? Uh, for every trimester, we have a maternity log with all the possible information, with graphs and so on. We have also a maternity log for laboratory examinations as you can see here this is like this and then uh, we have the pregnancy chart which will guide you through all through the complete pregnancy every examination you can see and here are the fields so all these things can be generated automatically and on the settings of each of the report you can also choose let's say here maternity log first trimester you can also choose what you want to display in it just a second of course the version German or Austria one German is a little bit bigger Austrian one is a small notebook but uh, the most important thing is you can choose the measurements you want to display in the maternity log so as you can see you have everything possible here what can be displayed all right measurements with the graphs and so on so like this you can generate for every trimester of the pregnancy maternity log at the end the gravidogram which is the pregnancy chart with the completely um, yeah overview complete overview about the whole pregnancy then we have another 
reports which are here deactivated but in your account you can always activate it how you want but they are not so much used that's why uh, they're generally deactivated csv export and json export these are the special formats you can export your examinations also in these data formats um, at the end of this video i want to i would like to show you uh, or tell you something about the placing of the reports uh, because it's very um, normally it would be very hard to find the report you have to search for the patient first then you have to search for the right examination then you have to search in the examination for the report so we made it much easier um, Placing of the reports. Um, first of all, all of the generated reports you can access from the last examination, you can access direct in the patient list. Here you can see maternity log laboratory or the reports of the last examination. If you want to search for all the reports, you go to patient timeline. And in the patient timeline, you have every report to every single one examination. You have seen the reports here. You can just always click on the picture. Throughout the time, you will absolutely know which report has which color and so on. If you have a report which includes the first trimester screening, for example, here, um, I will show you shortly uh, then it is blue because it includes the first trimester screening calculations of the FMF all right so you can access it here and of course if you go to let's say this examination on a certain date all the generated reports are displayed just above just in the upper part of the examination look at this and uh, you can here also regenerate the report if you change something you can share it with the doc and with the patient and of course you can generate a new one or another report all right so i hope you like it in case you have some questions, you can always contact me or Mary. Um, me, my, my address, my, my email address is stan at fatview.com is easy. And Mary, who, which is, uh, who is, who is uh, in charge for our Spanish, Portuguese, English speaking clients, you can always contact under Mary at fatview.com. We see us. All the best.